minister to those who need it most is lived out every day. I didn't know what to expect when I first got here. Doris has tried to take refuge in city shelters, but has never felt safe. She was threatened with violence, rampant drug abuse, and theft of what little she did have. Then she found the dwelling place, and now she's finally moving towards a stable life. It's not like chaotic, it's quiet, and there's time for you to rest and be able to think and read or you know, be able to get your thoughts together. The dwelling place is a transitional residence for homeless women, providing a place to sleep, meals, medical and psychological assistance, access to community resources, and job search help. The goal is to get these women back on their feet. I got to speak with several of the sisters who dedicate their lives to this ministry. Sister Nancy Chiarillo helped to found the dwelling place in Midtown Manhattan 37 years ago. Since then, she says they've helped thousands of women from all five boroughs and all walks of life. We're seeing more and more homeless people, and it's not the mentally ill. It's the people who have lost jobs, um, can no longer stay with family, who landlords have uh, up to rents and their apartments are no longer affordable. The director, Sister Margaret Boyle, knows the story of each of the 14 women who currently live at the dwelling place. She wants to break the stereotype that homeless people choose to be homeless because it is convenient. Women are coming to us now who have had a life, have had savings, credit cards, apartments, they've traveled, they've had medical insurance, and they've lost it all. Cindy had been working at a reputable law firm when clinical depression made even daily living difficult. After she lost her job and her apartment, she says she needed more than just a bed to sleep in, but a secure place to heal. They understood my situation and, and they were um, really empathetic to it. Gail, another resident, agrees. She says she has a stellar resume, in the past working as an actor, a model, in consulting and in advertising, but has been struggling to recover her finances and secure a steady job for over 10 years. This is the first place I've been in where, where they're like, okay, we're going to support you in your aspirations to get your life together. Lucille has only lived at the shelter for a few months now. Still, she wants everyone to know that she's working as hard as she can to get back on her feet. No one asks to be in the situation that they are in, mm -hmm. and everyone's lifestyle is different, mm -hmm. and what they've been through is totally different. They didn't ask to be homeless. If I walked out onto the street now, walking out of a New York City building with very high rents, would you know I was homeless? You'd never. And I've had people make comments about, oh, did you see that homeless woman? You know. Uh, yeah, I see you right here. The Dwelling Place wants to continue to reach past the stereotype to touch the individual, providing new hope for every single woman that they take in. Find out how you can help them by visiting their website, thedwellingplaceofny.org. Reporting for Currents from Midtown, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.